bit of a passion project of mine. I've been working on this chicken coop in my garage for the last two and a half weeks, and now we've been here for about a week. We prefabbed it, and then we got it here and we assembled it. So we got it done in time for the girls to arrive last Monday. Place is secure. Inside, we've got a three-stage composter we built for the girls to work in in their daily uh, endeavors. So they're on the clock. We'll open the door just so you can take a look. You got a lock on top and bottom to keep the predators out. Come on in. You see, we got a ladder up for the uh, hen house. We got a feeder here that's good for up to 10 days' feed. It's made out of four inch sewer pipe. And uh, yeah, once every 10 days, you can top it up. In the wintertime, when they don't get to forage outside, it might last seven days. But for the summertime, it's going to be minimum 10 days food storage. So, minimal amount of work as possible. For hydration, hey, there's one of the girls there. We got our side sippers in there. We've got five nipples on there for the girls. Who we got? Color coded. Oh, we got Chasey. She's blue. Awesome. So as the compost builds up, you put the boards, you build it up, and you can put the lids up, which is kind of cool. So let's go back around. Sorry, Chase. I'm going to close the door. Watch out, little girl. Thank you. Watch your foot. All right, sorry. We'll come around to the egg hutch. It's always good to come from behind the girls when they're laying their eggs, rather than some guys have a roof that they lift up while predators come from the top. We don't want that. So we come from this way, open up nice and smooth. See that, Jim? No bump. Doesn't stick. You can reach in, get the girls to tuck up, get your eggs. Awesome. Use carabiners. Make sure the uh, raccoons with little nimble fingers, nimble fingers can't get in there. As well, you see the flower beds? We've got 24 inches of predator cloth buried underneath that flower bed. So when they come to dig at the base of the wall, predators will dig there and they'll hit predator cloth, AKA hardware cloth. We got our water management system. Outflow out to the backside, as well as down this side, which flows into a rain barrel for hydration of the girls. Here, my client can pull his uh, wheelbarrow up. We have a clean out area. This swings open. Open a barrel bolt. This here tips out. Pull your wheelbarrow up and you can clean it out once every three to four months. Right into your wheelbarrow, which is kind of cool. Everything's inside. It's got puck board, easy to clean. Stuff you use for inside hockey rinks. We've got quarter inch puck board on the sides and 180 puck board on the base. Really cool. Got a big seven foot roosting bar for the girls. We've got the one foot rule, 12 inches for every chicken. And we got six chickens, so you got over seven and a half feet there. So you got lots of room. Come around this way, you can see into the hutch where the girls can go lay their eggs, where they come through the door. And we got two windows with predator cloth backing them up for ventilation. Otherwise, and we got peak ventilation up top too. Last but not least, throw our barrel bolt in, we got ventilation here. Pop these doors open, put a little wooden dowel, and it props up like such, and you got ventilation there, and you got ventilation here. Oh, speak of the devil, got our dowel, control that in. That keeps your prop building. Ventilation. That's basically it. Pretty much covered her off. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again for hiring me, Jim. Be good.